day good morning kind friends i have been spinning for let's say an 18 ish months so i have amassed quite a bit of leftover yarn an entire basket full i also last summer bought a vintage rigid head loom and i have been practicing with that for a bit this was my first weaving a little scarf little plaid scarf you have seen that one and if you didn't check out the video in one of these corners. Next up I made this one, which I think is really beautiful, but it has some big, 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 big tension issues. As you can see, it's all wobbly all throughout. And then, of course, when I learned a new craft, my husband wanted to take part in it. He wanted a scarf as well. And that is this one. And as you can see, no tension issues. Wow! So you can say that I have mastered my craft enough to try and do this with my own hand spun yarn. I mean these scarves are really beautiful even though they have their issues but their biggest issue is they're made with acrylic and I am a wool snob so something is not quite right there. Winter is coming and I need a new scarf. I have picked these bleh, these balls for my warp, they're Lang Yarns Raw. Lang Yarns Raw. They're all the same thickness, so that should work. I'm going to try and make like a hybrid between these two with the plaid kind of warp, but also the random nice funkiness of this one. So let's go. I do not have a fancy warping board or indeed a warping peg, but what I do have is an umbrella stand. Well, will you look at this? I am actually recording the process of warping this loom. Such confidence. Ooh. Well, quite misplaced confidence, of course, but if this isn't character development, then I don't know what is. I decided to make quite a thin scarf because a lot of the previous tension issues I experienced were because of the warp threads getting caught on the beam, um, or actually between the beam and the loom. Yeah, so that was not nice. I am trying not to get that by making a smaller warp. Let's weave. is turning out exactly as I envisioned it. Stripy, plaidy, but also very textured and clearly handmade, but also looking quite elegant. Or well, my definition of elegance at least. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but I am really liking this. These colors work superbly together, but that's to be expected when you work with naturally dyed colors because they all work together, because they're all naturally dyed. Yes. Yee, I'm excited, this is beautiful. And even though the striped warp makes the plain weave look extraordinarily beautiful, it is time for some actual shenanigans. Some clasp weft shenanigans because I personally like to run before I can walk and I went with advanced techniques before I actually mastered the plain weave.
in essence, weaving is such a meditative and, you know, relaxing, calming experience. That is, unless your name is Jente and you put like metal as background to everything and then you get scenes like this. <laughs> We have exhausted our warp and the loom is no longer supporting itself on its legs. It is standing on this big pile of cloth. So let's unroll it. Mission accomplished! I have a new winter scarf made out of my own hand spun yarn! Boom! Party! As per definition with naturally dyed colors, they just go so lovely together. I think it's quite an elegant scarf because I have been quite conservative in my weaving. Most of it is just plain weaving, taking advantage of the pretty colors in the warp and the weft, which makes it quite elegant. As I said, it looks... No, it doesn't look like it, but it gives me like the feeling of a Burberry scarf, but then like a Burberry scarf from Aldi. I will get plenty of enjoyment out of this warm, hand-woven, hand-spun scarf. I've got some fun bits in there too, like this little clasped weft bit. And then some, where are they? Here, some stripes. So yeah, here is my scarf. <laughs> I am happy with it. When the weather decides that it actually will get cold in November, climate change is second scary like that, I'll be wearing this outside a lot. And if you enjoy these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, but that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye! Well, so far for a dramatic outro. Yeah. Yeah.